Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb and I make videos about lifestyle, motherhood. Lately, there's been lots of home content, some travel, some Disney, just a little of everything. So this morning, we are up and getting ourselves together and I'm really excited because we are going to try out a new church this morning. We moved into a new neighborhood, of course, when we made this move, what has it been, like a month now? Um, and we have been on the hunt for a sort of like small community oriented home church kind of feel. Um, there's a lot of reasons behind that, but that's just, I'll just say that for now. And, um, we found one in our new neighborhood and it's, I guess, a pretty small gathering of believers and I've just heard amazing things about it. So I'm really interested to go check it out this morning. We're going to go with some of our friends, um, who they went, um, a few weeks ago and, and reported back that it was just a really cool community. So I'm really looking forward to that. So we're going to go do that this morning. I just got dressed. This necklace is from Target. These earrings are from Amazon, I think. These are my little gold huggies. I wear these like every single day. These bracelets are from Bobble Bar. <clears throat> I'm still waking up. This top I really love. Um, it's like a drapey silk feel top. It's actually from Amazon. I really feel good in this top. Um, I feel like it's nice and modest, but also it's very, very hot. So it's nice to have my arms out. And um, as Louise Pentland, who's another YouTuber who I, I have followed for years, she always talks about her arms and she calls them her upper meat sticks. And she's like, when it's hot, you gotta have your upper meat sticks out, which like, I understand. And then I just have jeans and sandals on. Um, Riley's making himself some coffee. I already had a coffee. Today's my mom's birthday, so I woke up early and gave her a call and they were having a great weekend, so all is great. Yesterday, probably partially why my voice is still gravelly is because yesterday was a super fun and like we did a lot, long day. We got our furniture delivered for our bedroom, so we got our new bed and our new dresser delivered yesterday. Riley hung curtains. Um, I ordered some art online. Uh, I already have a rug that's been ordered and bedding that's been ordered. So, so anyway, I've ordered tons of things. I ordered some new lamps and like all of this stuff is just coming in, trickling in and we're just slowly getting it together. And as we get our bedroom together, we can then get the guest bedroom in order because we are moving our old furniture into that room. And we have, I have in the next six weeks or so, three different guests coming. So there's the deal. Yesterday was a big home improvement kind of day. Today we're gonna go check out a new church. And, uh, and then we need a little bit of a rest afternoon, I think, especially because we just launched Fall Halloween. And so um, I have loads of work ahead of me this week packing orders, which is a good problem to have. But um, anyway, all right. Good morning and welcome to our week. Just finished up with church and it was just such a good experience. I'll talk about it a little bit later. But we went to Starbucks because I was really wanting to get a pumpkin cream cold brew. It's pretty much the only pumpkin spice thing that I just absolutely love. I'm not a huge pumpkin spice girl, but um, this I love. So we both got one. Cheers. Cheers. Well, hello from our very messy kitchen and dining room. Lots of life being lived in there this weekend. Um, we just finished up with church and then on the way home we went over to Starbucks because I really wanted, I think I already showed you this, a pumpkin cream cold brew. I just love them. Um, <clears throat> I am like suddenly just feeling more sickly again and I don't know if I just like didn't get a good night's sleep last night, but I'm just feeling like I need to go lay down and take a nap. I thought I was completely over my little cold, but I sort of don't feel well again, so I don't know. I know that the cold has sort of settled into my lungs um, and I can feel it in there. You know how that is like usually the last phase of the cold, at least for me. But anyway, enough about that. Um, we went to the church this morning. It was really nice. It was like at the little community center and there were like probably 40, maybe 50 people. It was like a nice small gathering. Everybody was so friendly so excited to come and meet us and talk to us. And everybody was asking, where did we live in the neighborhood? And then sharing where they lived and, oh, we're your neighbors. And like, just a really special thing and like a really cool thing. Like it just really, I have been like thinking about and having this 
very like low hum in my spirit, I would say for probably six to nine months where I just really wanted a smaller community-based, neighborhood-based, kind of like a home church feeling. And um, <clears throat> I've just, we've continued to go to our big church and like it's been fine, but I've just had this feeling that that is kind of where we're heading and um, Riley is in agreement. And so then when we moved into our new neighborhood and then we heard that they had this little gathering, um, we were really excited to try it out. We just heard about it and found out about it and then we obviously went today. So I think we're gonna keep going and see how it all kind of unfolds. The people there that we met were just warm and open and just felt really real and it was just very casual, not a lot of pomp and circumstance and just very much like a gathering of believers and I just, that's what I have been wanting so much. And I just loved it. So I think we'll be back for sure. Um, they are in the midst because it's like a small group. They're in the midst of getting a children's ministry set up. So we had the kids with us in church, which was fine because like I said, it really was casual, but they were really cute. They had like these clipboards um, with like quiet activities for the kids to do like little dot stickers to put on a butterfly. And Nora loved that. Colin like dozed off a little bit. So anyway, all in all, very good experience. Um, and we're grateful for that. So that was one of my goals for this year was to join our church. And when I made that goal <clears throat> at the beginning of the year, it was the church that we had previously been going to. We didn't have any issues, no falling out, nothing like that. There was just been this, like, like I said, this little hum of like, mm, I actually think I sort of want to be planted in with a smaller group with less programming. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but just that's kind of where I was like feeling led toward. I think I've talked about this here on this channel. I don't know how much I've shared. I don't know. <laughs> I share a lot all the time, so I never know exactly what's been said. But anyway, we're very grateful for it. And um, I could definitely see us joining this church by the end of the year. So we might cross that one off yet. Anyway, I'm going to finish off this little cold brew and uh, change into some comfies. I think I'm going to wash my face and like, because I have like makeup on. Um, and then just... Uh, climb into bed. I have a little bit of work that I need to do for my shop and then I might try to take like a nap for an hour. Colin's napping right now so it's a good time for me to do so as well. Always a little bit of wild lighting in the morning. Good morning guys. It's a uh, Monday. It is 7 54 and um, <clears throat> I felt pretty junky yesterday um, towards the end of the day and then I was working and restocking and do it, running a restock and answering customer questions and stuff like that. And then I took a quick nap and then did more of that and then ate some food and then got a pretty good night's sleep. And as you can see, I'm dressed to go to the gym. And so I was driving to the gym. I'm not feeling totally 100%, but I'm like, I can, I can get in a workout. Um, and then my trainer called me and she's, it's not something happened with on her end this morning, not, not anything big, but she's like, okay, I don't know if this morning is really going to work for me, which is the first time in a whole year of working with her that's ever happened. So she gets all the passes because there have been many more times where I've had issues, you know, on my end with kids or whatever, where I'm not able to make it anyway. And I was actually really relieved. I was like, I told her, I said, you know, it actually works out well. I'm not feeling a hundred percent today. And so one more day of rest might be a really good thing. Uh, but I am, I am up and at them, which is good. So I am heading into, sitting outside of my office actually right now. Um, I just rerouted from the gym. Normally, I would, like if she's ever running a little late or something, I'll just go and start the workout. But today I was like, mm, you might even be able to hear it. I'm like, mm, I think I'll probably just rest today. I'm still waking up a little bit, I gotta be honest with you, but I am having some caffeine, so we've got that going for us. Um, I'm gonna head in to my office. I have so much work. We are absolutely blown away by the response to our fall and Halloween line. I cannot explain to you how shocking it has been. We sold out so much after we launched that we did a huge restock last night with very close to the same number of garments as we did at launch, which is unheard of. Normally restocks are a much smaller scale and many of those are selling out too. So it is just incredible to see the response. We're super excited about it. Lots of work ahead of us, but nothing we can't handle. Um, so it's actually gonna be great to get an early start this morning because I have quite literally hundreds of orders to package up today. Um, and so it'll be, 
it'll be a good thing to, to start tackling that as soon as possible um, so that everybody can get their stuff as soon as possible. So if you ordered something, thank you so much. If you haven't ordered something but you're interested, definitely check it out, playerlemdesign.com. Um, we will continuously be restocking um, probably up through early to mid-October because then our focus will shift more towards our holiday line. So that I would like to get out in the next six weeks or so, um, maybe by October 1st, which is less than six weeks away. Anyway, good morning, happy Monday. Sending you all the awake vibes today <laughs> because I don't really have them though to send. I don't know if you can like do that. <laughs> I just hope we all, you know, may our coffee be strong on this lovely Monday. Well, hello guys. It is a little after 6 p.m. right now. It was a very full, very productive day. I, I packaged so many orders. I started working around 7.45 and I finished around 4 so and I still have lots of work to do tomorrow so I'm really grateful for it. But I'm super excited because I'm driving right now. I'm going to go meet my friend Ange. We're going to meet each other halfway so about a 30 minute drive for both of us and we're going to go see Barbie the movie. I've been wanting to see it. Barbie was a huge part of my childhood. I absolutely loved it and I've been wanting to go and wanting to go. But a lot of my friends that live in my neighborhood have husbands that work night shifts or work into the evening and so it's just really challenging for them to do girls nights unless it's the weekend and then a lot of times on the weekend you want to spend time with your kids and your husband totally get that so anyway all that to say Ange and I were discussing this a couple weeks ago and I was like I really want to go see Barbie and I don't have anyone to go with who is available on a weeknight and she's like I would love to go so of course I got us um, from my shop I just launched these, they're embroidered, they're really cute on this hot pink. So I got one for her and one for me, which is perfect because we're going to a movie theater, obviously, and they are always chilly. So it's not chilly right now, but those will feel really good when we um, are sitting in the theater. And I am so excited. I've been looking forward to it all day as I was packing orders and everything. I was like, oh, I have such a fun thing to look forward to tonight. So I'm going to get going on this drive, but um, I'll have to check in after and tell you what I think of it. I am just really excited to finally, I haven't been to the movies. I actually can't think of the last time. It may be like close to four years. The last time I definitely remember going to the movies was going to see Frozen 2, which was in November or December of 2019, which is right after it was the first thing we ever did after Nora was born she was six weeks old and we left her with my mother-in-law and went to a movie for two hours and came back and that that was the that was it I don't think I've been since then anyway I gotta turn this air back on I turned it off for the audio but I it is too hot for that well good morning I feel like this has been a car vlog I feel like I've filmed in the car many times this week which is very indicative of how the week's been and what day, it's only Tuesday isn't it Oh, my stars. It, <laughs> it's been a long week already. Um, Ange and I had a really great time last night for girls' night going to see Barbie. And uh, we got strawberry margaritas and we split a pizza because we went to one of the um, movie theaters that has, you know, food and drinks. And uh, just really enjoyed ourselves. We had a great time. It was really fun. And so then I got back at like 11. <clears throat> And uh, couldn't fall asleep until like midnight. And then I was up at seven, which that's still seven hours of sleep. That's pretty good. But I feel like I need more. <laughs> I, I, I gotta be honest. Lots going on at this time of the year. Always, there always is. But I got a whole bunch of orders out yesterday and I can get a whole bunch more out today. I actually really enjoy the packing stage of the game. It's one of my favorite parts. Um, it's just like fun to like pack everything up it's like wrapping a whole bunch of little gifts I just love it anyway I'm gonna go work out I'll talk to you guys in a little
I just went to Chick-fil-A to get their new honey pimento cheese chicken sandwich. So it has pickled jalapenos on the bottom and then their fried chicken and then a drizzle of honey and then pimento cheese. And Riley and I got this the other day and it was so delicious. I truly think it's the best thing on the menu. So I just got it. I didn't, it's so filling. I didn't even get fries or a drink or anything else. I'm just gonna have the sandwich for lunch, but I'm really looking forward to it. It looks delicious. I'm out taking Charlie on a little short walk before bed. I just put the kids down and I just had to show you the moon. I know it's, it doesn't translate in video, but it's this big, beautiful, full moon or nearly full moon. I think tomorrow is the full moon, but it's gorgeous. Just a lovely night out here. So I'm just letting Charlie Bear do his thing and then I'm gonna head inside and I'll chat to you guys in a second. Okay, where can I chat with you? I just tried to chat with you outside, but it's a little dark, first of all. And then second of all, our neighbor's dog came out and she's a really sweet dog, but she's very yappy and she will not quit. Like she will just yap and yap and yap and yap if we're sitting out there. So um, I just got my kids to bed and I don't want them to be woken up by Charlie barking or her barking. This isn't half bad actually, considering like the fluorescent lighting and stuff. Um, so it's like 8.15 I think, both kids are asleep, um, Riley's working late, um, he'll probably be working late again for the rest of this week because, um, I did such a big restock and, uh, but he and I are both like in agreement that like we were like, do we want to do a big restock? And we decided together, yes we do, both of us knowing what that meant on our end as far as responsibility. So it was a joint decision to go ahead and do it and so I'm glad that we did. I got a lot of orders out yesterday, got a lot of orders out today. Um, it's just been a very good productive week and he's getting all these restock garments sewn and printed so that I can ship them out um, later this week, probably Friday and Saturday. Um, so that is that. It was a beautiful night outside and I absolutely am still looking forward to fall. Our, our temperatures are slowly starting to drop. The highs were like between 101 10 somewhere in there every day and they are now closer to like 93 or 94 is the high and so it's just like in the evenings and the mornings it's very pleasant to be outside because it's in like the 70s and it's just wonderful so I'm very much looking forward to that but I'm never looking forward to when the seasons change and we go from summer into fall and winter and uh, the days just get shorter and darker like it's 8 15 and I don't know how long ago, but it feels like just a few weeks ago when I was outside at 8.15, it was still nice and bright and, or, you know, the sun was setting, but it was still bright, but it's like pretty dark outside and I'm like, oh, summer is slipping away. So I wish we could keep the long days, but I know that the shorter, colder, like darker days add to the coziness factor. So I, I'm, I'm all in for fall. I just, I really do love so long summer days, even with the heat. Um, I just really enjoy them. So um, I was just walking outside with Charlie and just thinking how happy I am to be in this house, to be in this neighborhood. We were just so happy to be here. It's just been such a good fit for our family and it's been so fun to have friends all around us and that new church that we just went to that we really loved and it's just been such a great move for our family and um, I'm just really grateful for it. It's funny because when I was in college I had like a big bulletin board that I um, had hanging above my dorm bed and I had this quote that I was like obsessed with in college and I can't remember if I don't even know where it's from I had like the the author or whoever said or wrote this quote at the time but now I have no idea and I don't know if it's from a book or speech or a movie I couldn't tell you and it's just a really simple quote that just says things are beautiful if you love them and in college I just thought that was like so meaningful and it is meaningful but you know like we go through these phases well anyway I feel like that is the quote of this house things are beautiful if you love them we have just like loved this house into being this like incredible home obviously when we first saw this house it was like cat house 101 with like nasty stained carpet and the walls were all variety of like sponge paint and 90s nonsense and we've just like lovingly taken our time and like 
painted, done the floors, and like we're it's like just all of that. And then beyond that, even the spaces that we have not renovated yet, like our kitchen is still like we always joke that it looks like a hospital or like OBGYN office with the color of the cabinets and then like the mauve countertops. Um, and then our bathroom is just very outdated. But like I love them. I I just like love the kitchen. It's so functional. There's so much space in it to cook and bake. There's so much cabinet space. We have room for everything we need and extra room and like I just really enjoy it. And I feel the same way about our bathroom even though it's definitely outdated and could use some reno. I'm just like loving it. Like it's it's it really that quote rings true. Things are beautiful if you love them and like if you just love where you are and my mauve countertops. I don't really love my mauve countertops, but I just like love this house. I don't know if I could love the mauve countertops enough for them to become beautiful, but I think you know what I mean. Anyway, I am struggling with energy a lot today. Like I haven't been this exhausted in a very long time. It's like giving first trimester of pregnancy, which I am not pregnant, but I'm getting over a cold. Um, or like back in college when I had mono, it's like giving that, like that just bone level exhaustion. Like I feel like I took several Benadryl and I most certainly have not. So obviously my body is trying to fight off the last bit of this little cold. I'm probably not going to do much in the way of, I like to put the house to bed or like nightly home reset or I don't know there's a lot of different things to call it. like clean up the house and get it together so that in the morning it's not a total disaster but I'm just so tired I think I'm just gonna go put on PJs and go to bed <laughs> um Nora has school tomorrow I think Colin and I are gonna go to the Explorium and meet up with Ange and her kids which will be really fun um while Nora's in school and hopefully Riley doesn't work too late tonight that's a story that's what today was like I feel like this is a just a lot of chatting in this vlog. <laughs> chatting in the car, chatting in the cabinet, chatting in a variety of different places. Um, there's not tons to show. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Getting through the week. You know, sometimes weeks are like that. Really busy week, lots going on, and feeling slightly under the weather, and my energy is like really low. It makes it a little dicey, but I'm still happy to be here. <laughs> so anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great I almost said great night's sleep, but you're probably going to watch the next clip right after this one. So, like, see you in a second. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday. I just got a pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. And Colin and I dropped Nora off at school. And we are sitting out front of Target. Um, I actually came, we drove down to Denton to specifically go to Home Goods. Um, but it doesn't open until 9.30 and it's 9 o'clock. So we're going to go into Target and mosey around for 30 minutes. And then we're going to go over to Home Goods. And then um, I think we're going to go up to the Explorium, which is the Children's Museum we're members at. That's just really fun. Um, we are going to go to the Explorium today with my friend Angie and her kids. But she has a repairman coming to their new house. So tomorrow works better for her. So we might go today and tomorrow. There's enough stuff there for sure to do two days in a row. So anyway, I am just having a little mommy and Colin day. Um, I feel a lot better after getting a really good night's sleep. I got about probably eight, probably like solidly eight hours of sleep. And that just makes such a difference. Um, I still, I still have a lingering situation going on, but I'm feeling a lot better. Um, Riley told me yesterday was the first day in like three weeks that he's feeling better. So it's just one of those things that sometimes it just takes forever to bounce back. So anyway, we're going to walk around Target, then Home Goods. I'll show you if we get anything. Okay, here's a little mini haul for you. So from Target, I just got this little sweatsuit for Colin. I thought it was so cute and I love the green color for this fall and winter. And then I got this set of two prints already framed. I thought they were beautiful for our guest room because I'm doing like white and blue in there. And then I just needed a roll of birthday wrapping paper. So that's all I've gotten so far. Another day, another trip to the Explorium. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I went and worked out this morning. I feel like the fans in here are really loud. Um, and it was a really, really good workout. Very intense and just I felt super good. I feel like I'm finally probably in the last day or two of this cold 
moment. Um, I fell back to like a normal workout today for the first time in a couple of weeks, which was great. It's so annoying to like get up and get in the mentality to work out and get to the gym and then your body just won't perform because you're sick. It's really annoying. So it was like amazing today to feel like back in the groove of things. Um, so I have Colin with me again. We're going to go to the Explorium again today. Today Ange is meeting us with her kids. Um, <clears throat> it's just a really, it's, so, it's still very hot out. The, the temperatures have dropped from being just like the surface of the sun, but they're still in the nineties and being outside for, you know, after 30, 45 minutes, it's kind of gets old. So going here to this children's museum has just been such a lifesaver this summer because we can play inside for two, three, four hours without any problems. Cause obviously it's air conditioned and they have tons of books and activities and crafts and just everything. It's like really fun. So we're gonna go in there and spend a few hours there and then um, we'll probably leave around lunchtime and get some lunch or something like that and then go and get Nora from school in the afternoon. So that is what we are up to on this Thursday. That's what we're up to. <laughs> we just picked Nora up from school and got some ice cream. Thank you so much. Oh, for sure. Well, hello. It is 3.20 now. We just had a very interesting experience at the Dairy Queen. We went in because Nora had a great week at school and I thought it would be fun to just get the kids like a scoop of ice cream and I love their pumpkin pie blizzards. So I just got like a mini one of those and it was delicious. The mini is so much ice cream. It's amazing to me. Like it's, I feel like it's, anyway, whatever. That's not the point of the story. Do any of you guys feel like you're just like stranger magnets? You know when you go somewhere and there's like a stranger who's just chatting to the point where it makes you feel uncomfortable because they're kind of like not leaving you alone. I feel like that happens to me all of the time and I always say it's my freckles. I feel like the freckles just are disarming and people are like, oh, she would love to just sit and talk to me the entire time she's on an ice cream date with her kids. So like this older gentleman, <clears throat> not that old, probably like 45 or 50, is bringing us up, bringing up the ice creams and he just like keeps talking to me and then he's like whispering and mumbling things that I think are supposed to be funny but I literally couldn't even hear him and I was just like oh yeah haha. and like I always try to be super friendly with people whether I know them or not and I know my kids are really cute and people are delighted to see them and all that so that's all great but then when the social interaction like when the normal time for that social interaction would have ended it just kept going and he like came over and like was like feeding started like feeding Colin his ice cream and I like took it away like in a nice way I was like oh don't worry I like I got it and he was like well I was a caregiver and then he launches into this whole story and it just got really weird it just got really weird in fact so weird that there were like a couple of other women in the room women look out for women there were a couple of other women in the restaurant who were like kept walking by and like peeking and like pretending to get refills because they were making sure I was okay. I really think he was harmless and maybe just lonely and like I'm sad about that for him, but it was so uncomfortable. He just kept coming over, kept coming over. When he started trying to feed Colin, I was like, we are out. It, we are immediately out. I feel like it happens, that kind of stuff happens to me all the time where these peeps just like don't get the clue. Like, yeah, like a quick little cute social interaction is super fun and great. And then, you know, like, let me go sit down with my kids and have ice cream. You know, it just got really weird. And then when he left the booth after feeding Colin, he was like leaning over the other side of the booth and just like kept trying to chat. And I'm like, oh my stars, this is, it was a lot. So <laughs> it wasn't really that fun of an ice cream date because I was just super uncomfortable the entire time. But um, I think the kids enjoyed it. So, oh, and then at one point he came over and he was trying to make the kids laugh. So he started barking like right in my face, like barking like a dog. So the kids would laugh. <laughs> These unhinged people are magnets to me. Everywhere I go, I find them <laughs> everywhere. 
Good morning. It's Friday now and I just finished up at the gym. Clearly I'm a hot mess, but it was such a good workout. It's so nice to be feeling well again and be having these awesome workouts again. Um, I moved to three days a week. Um, this week was the first week that I'm doing three days a week workout. For the past year, I've been doing two days a week and it's time to bump it up, which is exciting. Um, so my trainer had asked me about a month ago to start a food diary and so I started one in this little book and um, she was like I just want you to track what you're eating to build awareness and I also want to see it because as we push forward like I want to make sure you're getting proper nutrition and all that well I was doing really well I was tracking everything and I was really like eating well-rounded and I just felt really good about it and then the past two weeks with everything with my work and Riley's work it's just been a lot of drive-throughs, a lot of easy freezer meals, like very little home cooking. And so it's just been really, like I'm not proud of what I have been eating, you know what I'm saying? It's just been survival. Like there's not a lot of time, so I'm doing what I can do. And so I like, she kept asking me to bring it in and I kept not bringing it in. <laughs> and finally, a couple days ago when she asked me, I was like, listen, I was like, I don't want to bring it in because I'm ashamed. I'm like nervous what you're going to say. And she was like, Listen, she's like, there's no judgment when you're a young mom, especially you're going to go through times where it's just, you're not, you don't have the bandwidth to be eating super healthy every single meal. But she's like, let's just talk about small changes we can make. She's like, it's not about perfection. We're just looking for consistency and all of this. And she's like, that's what you're going to learn through this whole process of working out with me and tracking your meals and everything. She's like, I just want you to learn consistency and patience that not everything has to be perfect and it's not gonna happen quickly and that is if that's not the truth that has been like the number one thing I have learned throughout the past year of working out with her is just consistency and patience because if you want long-term results it takes usually a longer time to get there I think when I originally signed on with her I thought maybe three to six months and I'll like have the body of my dreams and I'll be good to go and what I've learned is that not only will it take longer than that to get to you know exactly what I want, but it also will be a lifelong endeavor to just continue to take care of myself and to maintain. And so it's just been like a really good, the whole lesson all in all has been really good. I struggle a lot with feeling like things are not worthwhile if they're not done perfectly, which stems from my childhood, which is like a whole Pandora's box to open up. But I've learned and continue to learn that sometimes done is better than perfect and just going showing up is like the first step oftentimes anyway it's a lot of thoughts um on a friday morning but the air outside feels so good i have the windows down if you can hear some ambient noise i'm sitting outside of my office and it just feels so good it's like finally not 15,000 degrees at 9 a.m I have so much work to do today. Riley said he dropped off nine more boxes of garments to my studio last night, to my office. So I'm going to go in and uh, get cracking. But I wanted to say good morning and happy Friday. Well, good morning. It's Saturday now. It's a little before 9. I think it's about 8.30 or 8.45. I have so many packages <laughs> to show you, but we are in the process of working on getting our bedroom completely finished. I'm so excited um, about this space. I'll turn on the overhead light for one of the last times because I just bought a um, ceiling fan that doesn't have an overhead light because I am team no overhead lights in the bedroom. I just, they don't bring the vibes I'm looking for, but I want to show you um, what we've done. We haven't hung these and they're probably not going to go there, but I just wanted to show you <clears throat> what, uh, 
what we've gotten in and what we've done and um, I'm gonna unbox some bedding that I've gotten and uh, there's just a lot of exciting things going on in our bedroom this weekend with the exception of the rug which is back ordered I think today we will be able to get it completely 90 85 90 percent like complete between the light fixture I got or the I shouldn't say light fixture the ceiling fan that I got the wall art that I got we've hung the curtains we're moving the chair and like we are good to go so let me show you we just woke up and got going right away so like the bed's not made but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna wash the sheets and put on the fresh bedding anyway so we weren't gonna make the bed Okay, so just keeping it real, we have a um, basket of unfolded but clean laundry. This week has been wild for both of us, and so we've been working out of that for clean clothes every day. Just keeping it real. Okay, but doesn't this look so good? I mean, ignore all the mess, but, like, it looks amazing. We love these curtains, and the curtain rods have been great because we truly get, like, a blackout effect, and then the bamboo shades. Um, and so we hung these all the way up to the ceiling so that they give that really dramatic effect and they're just gorgeous and uh, I have new lamps that I'm going to unbox today and like I said the new bedding and I have some new things to go up on our dresser like a new clock so we can get rid of the red ones on either side of um, on the bedside tables and Riley's in the process of moving Nora's big rocker recliner in here from her room um, so we're going to put that in our corner over here as a reading chair because we don't use it in Nora's room anymore. So I'm just going to tidy some things up and uh, get the bedding stripped down and put our fresh. We have an extra pair of sheets. So um, Riley was sitting on here. He had his pocket knife in his pocket and it tore. So this fitted sheet probably just needs to go. Um, also, now that you can see it, we got this new bed um, from a company called Amerisleep. And oh my gosh, we have never slept better. It has this cooling thing on top where it, I don't know how to describe it. It feels cool to the touch. It's not cold. It just has a cool feeling. And we have been sleeping so stinking well on this mattress. It's so comfortable. I feel like I'm just getting really, really solid sleep. I didn't realize how old our other mattress was, but it is like eight years old or longer. So anyway... I'm going to deal with these sheets, but like loving this bed. It's so comfortable. I'm going to talk about it more in a, well, I might have already talked about it in a video. The bed was gifted. It wasn't a sponsored video, but they did gift me just the mattress for free, which was really kind. Um, and like, honestly, we've been sleeping on it now for a little while and I, I really genuinely love it. Okay, let me get this stuff together here. Also here in our guest bath, which I have shared um, a couple of times, I did end up getting new hardware for the um, drawers in here, and I really like it. It's just that sleek matte black, which matches, you know, the toilet paper holder, the faucet, the, you know, all of it. I do, I don't like this mirror in here. I just don't like it. Um, I want something, I think I want a matte black square. It's too much of a statement with the circle, and then we got the, it's just too much going on. I just want like a very simple, simple, simple mirror. Um, but I'm really happy with the way that this room has turned out overall. Hey guys, it's Sunday now and I'm just going to round out this vlog. I keep trying to piece it together to make it more of a flow, but the state of this vlog is very reminiscent of the state of our week. It was an extremely busy week, both of us working late, just a lot going on um, with line launches and Riley's got tons of stuff going on at work and it's just been kind of wild, but it's Sunday now, and um, we have had the best Saturday and Sunday that we have had in so long. It has been wonderful. Yesterday, I went to the gym first and then came home, and then Riley went to the gym, so we took turns looking after the kids while the other one went to the gym, and then both kids took a rest, and then we got to take a nap too, you know, shower, take a nap, and then in the evenings, so we had like a low-key morning and afternoon, and in the evening, our neighborhood did like a big fish fry and it was a beautiful night and it was kind of overcast. So it was really cool and we all went out and there was live music and a silent auction and we did this huge fish fry and it was really fun and the kids ran around and played with all their little friends from our neighborhood and we just stayed out for hours and then 
came home and got a good night's sleep. And then this morning we went to our new cute little neighborhood church that I've been talking about, or at least I talked about last week because that was the first time that we went. And um, had another really great experience. The folks there are just so warm and welcoming, and it was just great. So that was, and then I, I didn't wear this to church. And then we came home, and we all changed into comfies. And um, while Colin took his nap, I took a nap. And then now Colin's up, and I'm with the kids, and Riley's taking a nap. We're just trying to really rest because we have another really hard week coming up here starting, well, tomorrow's Labor Day, so the day after tomorrow, starting Tuesday. And it's going to be especially difficult because we will not have the hands-on support that we normally have from our babysitter because she has some things going on this week, so she will not be available. And um, I'm, a little <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed because I have a lot of work to do, so I, I'm probably going to have to go, over, go and work tomorrow. Um, while Riley's home with the kids, maybe during, um, during Colin's nap time, I'll go and do that or something, but I'm going to have to get a couple of hours of work in if I'm not getting any during, you know, the bulk of the week. So all that to say, we're resting heavily and really it's been so, so nice. Um, we did put the bedding on our bed. Oh boy. We did put our new bedding on our bed and we are, I think tomorrow going to work on, installing the fan and all that with all this resting we didn't make too much huge progress on our room I would show you the progress that we have made but Riley's asleep in there right now so I'll show you in next week's vlog for sure um, if there's not a, a video in between now and next week of our makeover we will see I don't know anyway to sort of make up for how piecemeal this vlog has been I'm going to give away two Blair Lamb Design gift certificates so all of the information on entering that giveaway will be linked below. It's open internationally. It will be a digital gift card code that I will email you. So anywhere in the world that you are, you can enter. There's a lot of noises. <laughs> so I'll be giving away two of those this week. So enter below and good luck to all of the people who do enter. I will see you either on Thursday or next Sunday. I'm going to go tend to my kids. I'm hiding in the laundry room just because I wanted to do this short clip. And it seems like 3 minutes and 53 seconds is about what I get. I got to go. Okay. Thank you for being here this week. And, um, oh, a reminder, speaking of Blair Lamb Design, my whole fall and Halloween line is up. It's live. It's available. It's launched. It's amazing. If I do say so myself. We've been selling out and restocking and selling out and restocking over and over and over again. Um, and so I, we will continue to do that, but the Christmas line is coming, the holiday line. And when that comes, the restocks will have to slow down. Oh my goodness, I've got to go. But go check that out if you're interested. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.